2024 is shaping up to be one of those pivotal years in computing that happens once every few decades. And I think it's due to three factors. But before we get to that, a quick little history lesson on computers. So most computers run on either an Intel or an AMD chips, or at least an x86 chip. It's just a way that the microprocessors inside are designed. And historically, that's been the more powerful way of getting a high amount of computing done. However, as you might have noticed in the last decade, mobile phones are getting more and more powerful and the processors inside actually use a different architecture called an ARM architecture. They have been getting more and more powerful as the time goes on. A few years ago, you would have noticed that Apple switched from their Intel based laptops, the x86 processor, to their own M1 chips, which is an ARM based processor. And what you got was this thin and light laptop that had all the performance, but incredible battery life as well. Now, it's not to say that Windows didn't have anything like this. In fact, ironically, Microsoft first introduced the mm. Surface RT tablet in, back in 2012 as their attempt to do exactly this. But there's a problem with just making a ARM processor, and it's that programs written for x86 don't work natively on an ARM chip. So you have to run this thing called an emulation layer, which takes the old programs and makes it run on the new generation of chips. Until now, it's either meant that programs are slower or buggy or just won't launch. And that's the sort of issues that plagued the original Windows RT system. Over the years, there's been little iterations, but it still really suffered from this performance issue. In fact, Apple had the same problem switching from Intel to the M1, but you see, they had done the reverse swap decades ago when they went from their old chips, the PowerPCs, and developed an emulation layer. So in a way, they were just going back and got the switch done a lot more smoothly. As of this week, finally, we have the Windows Copilot Plus PCs, which are running an ARM chip with an amazing emulation layer. And we might be getting that Apple M1 moment, but for Windows. That's point number one. Point number two is that if, unless you've been living under a rock, computing has become all about AI. Until now, AI has predominantly been this chat GPT or whatnot where you write a prompt, it gets processed on the cloud and you get an answer. Now, with these new processors coming out and both on the x86 and on the ARM side, we are getting things with NPUs or neural processing units that can do little things that AI does, but on your device. It basically cuts out the lag between your input having to be processed elsewhere and come back. Already, every time you tap and hold on a photo for it to automatically cut out a subject, it's doing a version of this, but it's only poised to get stronger and stronger. And the last factor, since the pandemic, PC manufacturers have really started to experiment again with form factor. We've had the traditional laptops for ever and a day, and then came the convertibles and the detachable ones like the Surface Line that I love so much. But during the pandemic, people wanted bigger screens and more screen real estate to work from home. So we started to get actual foldable PCs with foldable screens or ones that have detachable keyboards, those devices were experimental. They weren't really ready for the mainstream. And I always felt like they had to make all these compromises between the form factor itself, the battery life and the computing power. But with these new ARM chips, we might finally be able to get the compromises just right so that they're a genuinely useful device for most people. So I'm very, very excited to see what 2024 is gonna bring. And in fact, I just recently received my Microsoft Surface PC. So I'll be doing an unboxing of this and giving you my first impressions very soon. But those are my thoughts on why you should be paying attention to computing in 2024. If you'd like to see more videos like this, like and subscribe. And here's another one, including an unboxing coming up of this. Bye now.